Hi, so this uh, next tutorial takes us through the fact that you have submitted your work and now your lecturer has uh, appended uh, grades towards the work that you have submitted and you'll already notice that uh, you already have three notifications and that they're grades. On the right side of the course, you'll also get to see uh, the recent activities. You'll get to see you had uh, the marks and even comments from the lecturers. So this is feedback that you get from the lecturer. Uh, but anyway, let's click on it to see what we have. So you'll notice that, uh, okay, so these are the activities. I was not able to take them, but it's these three that I was able to attempt. Notice I have uh, 24 out of 30, and these are comments from the lecturer. So I can click on it and uh, good work. You need to improve on a particular topic. Fine. That's okay. I can see my scoring details. Uh, same thing for the quiz. Uh, I can see you have to work on this topic. Your research proposal was good. So basically comments from the lecturer. You'll get to see that. Uh, my graded discussion, remember this was the graded discussion. Uh, there's a comment here. I got three out of five and good work. So that's about my grades. So uh, having us or assuming that I have done all these activities, I'll get a particular score out of let's say 100 or out of whatever has been posted by the lecturer. Remember these are the out of marks. So this will give a total and you'll get something and it will be a percentage of that. Once you're happy with that, remember it's always good, as I mentioned, to always click on print grades, which will allow you to save a PDF file. You can save it as a PDF file and put it into your computer. And this is important for you to, let me just save it on my desktop right now. Uh, and uh, I'll be able to see that on my desktop. So for further, every time, Anytime you have an issue, you can always print that and come to the department to say that I had actually printed my course assessments. So those are the various assessment activities uh, that a lecturer can post out to you as a student. And it's important that you are able to pick on each one of them. The next type uh, that we'll be talking about will be the group activities, but we'll look at that in the next tutorial. So assignments is what we have looked into, uh, the various assessment activities that can be provided and how you can be able to view what the lecturer has assigned you or allocated you based on your submissions. Thank you.